victim's family is living a nightmare. Half of the family attended Larry Hewlett Patton's funeral today in Cortland, Mississippi. The rest of the family is here tonight at the Med praying for his son's recovery. They're urging the driver to turn themselves in to police. It feels like a nightmare. It really does. That nightmare started here near this BP gas station on Elvis Presley Boulevard last Thursday. 63-year-old Larry Hewlett Patton and his son, 33-year-old Larry Ray Patton, were working on the gas pumps. Around 11 that morning, police say a driver lost control and crashed. This is where the car hit the light pole and the utility pole. That's when the Pattons ran over here to help the driver. According to witnesses, they saw a white SUV drive over the power lines, which caused the Pattons to go airborne 20 feet. We heard another bam. My father-in-law died instantly. He really did die here, and that's him. That was him. The snap power line sliced Catherine's husband's chest from his neck all the way through his back. He has a torn colon that they have repaired. The driver who crashed into the utility pole escaped with minor injuries. It's the driver in this white SUV police want to talk to. Investigators say surveillance pictures from a nearby gas station show the driver run over the power lines. Witnesses say they're angry. The driver never stopped. The one that came through him, Evidently, with the wires like it was, they had to know what was going on. So that's why I was a little bit upset. Catherine Patton says her husband and his father were just being good Samaritans and didn't deserve this. She had this to say to the runaway driver. I hope that whoever it was will see it and turn themselves in or go and say, hey, I'm sorry, I didn't know. Just come forth, but give us closure and let us know. We deserve to know. Catherine Patton says her husband is undergoing a second surgery tonight and has a bad infection. They have a four-year-old daughter and a four-month-old son. If you have any information about that driver in that white SUV, call Memphis Police. Reporting live outside the Med, Jack Yorosco, ABC 24 News.